Change your life with Unstoppable Health Win. Enjoy the show. Good evening, everybody. Let's get some people on here. What's up, Veronica? So shout out to all of y'all, man. Let's get some more people on here, man. So we're going to go live on Instagram, too. Let's go live on Instagram. So we live on Instagram and we're live on Facebook. What's up? Good evening, everybody, man. How y'all doing? What's up, Lewis? What's up, bro? Been seeing you gonna change, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward for it, man. Make sure you hit me up, bro. I'll help you out with everything. You ain't gotta worry about diabetic food. You ain't gotta worry about none of that. I'll change it around for you, bro. There's a lot, a lot of better ways that you can be eating and, and enjoying yourself, man. You know, today I made, um, what's that called? A catazone, um, Italian, like a pizza type, not a pizza, but a, was it catazone, catazone, whatever it was. And I made one out of, uh, uh, is keto. It was keto, man. It was really, really delicious, man. And I made that. I got some, uh, some fresh pepperoni, some fresh salami, uh, Italian uh, uh, salami. Um, what else? Uh, we put in, oh, and Italian sausage. And then we put the, I put some sauce together and man, it was so delicious and only had like probably like three carbs or something like that. What's up, Frank, man? Shout out to y'all, bro. Um, shout out to Veronica. Shout out to y'all. So we waiting for some more people to come on here, man. But today we're talking about never let the fire in your heart go out. Never let the fire in your heart go out. Did y'all see that German chocolate, that German chocolate cupcake that I put together? Oh my God. See, I've been in the kitchen. I've been trying to come out with the perfect recipe and stuff like that. And that one right there is pretty perfect. It's so delicious. No sugar. And it's low carb. And that's going to be coming out. That's, I'm going to be selling that soon. Right now, uh, pretty much we got the labels. What we're waiting for now is to be able to uh, figure out what's the cost I'm paying for stuff. And also to see how many carbs per each is going to have and you know, if they're nut free, then I'm putting nut free. And if they're, you know, everything, then I'm gonna put all that in the labels. What's up, Ernest? What's up, Dad? What's up, Donna? So shout out to y'all, man. And I know y'all, I know y'all seen that German chocolate cupcake, man. It was so good. It was delicious, delicious, man. It was delicious. Very low carb, no sugar, man. Very low carb, no sugar. What's up, bro? So um, uh, yeah, man. So today, never let the fire in your heart go out. You know who let the fire go out last night? The Rockets, they let the fire go out last night, man. And, and, you know, they let their fire just leave, man. It was what, – what I think happened was they took game away from us. They took the first game, which was our win. That was our win. I just want them to let them play, you know, and call the fouls they were supposed to call. And they would have been tied up. But then after that loss, they took off the – after the referees, they didn't – you know, it's not so much their fault, man, you know uh, – that's what they did. They let the fire, they just let somebody take their fire, man. That, you know, that's what happened. Shout out to Sylvia, man. She looks amazing, man. So shout out to her, man. Uh, shout out to Jay. How you doing, bro? Shout out to Alex. What's up, Alex? What's up, dad? Um, shout out to Anna. So shout out to all of y'all, man. And, and um, so that's the deal today, guys. Today is never let the fire in your heart go out. And if you look deep into that, that's in the Bible. Okay, that's that's in the Bible. And it's crazy because I just thought about it and then I, I wanted to go to see a quote. So then I went and it took me straight to the, to the Romans and I'm like, whoa, that's in the Bible? What? You know? So it's there, you know? It's, it's tripped out because, I mean, I thought about it, but then again, I didn't think about it because it's in the Bible already. But anyway, so it's there. Shout out to Jessica, man. Shout out to y'all. Um, uh, hustle Vida, man. Hustle Vida. Make sure you go check it out. Jessica got an awesome show, man. Awesome show. And I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. But right now, I got so much going on, man. Uh, shout out to Robert, man. Shout out to Jay. What's up, Dad? Just shout out to all of y'all. But today is never let the fire in your heart go out. And it can. And it can, right? Because sometimes you're fired up and, and you're ready to do something and you're fired up. And then you just, just somebody puts a little bit of salt in your game. They tell you something. 
and it messes up everything, right? It messes up your planning. It messes up what you wanted to do. It messes up your timing just because of the words they said that came to you, right? So when you hear something like that, which is neg negativity most of the time, just brush it off, man. You know, do what you're going to do and keep that fire on. Keep that fire going, you know. And, and, and it's not so much just in losing weight. It's in anything. Whatever you want to do, keep that fire. There's been times, and think about it. This, this is how it is, right? So you get a brand new truck or you get a brand new car. What is the first thing your family member tells you? What Do they congratulate you? No, they don't congratulate you. Like, hey, you think you can afford it? Hey, man, um... You must have got you must have won the lotto or what's the other one? Um man, dude, income tax must have came in. Or you know, they just say something. They never just tell you, congratulations, congratulations on what you, you know, on what you got. You know, me personally, when I see somebody, man, I congratulations. You can look on my Facebook, I'm always congratulating people. Man, that's awesome. You know, you're doing awesome, everything. And that's what we need, you know, we need that. But sometimes people are going to say things to us that are going to be, you know, negative, and we're going to keep that in our head, and that's going to go with this, you know, when it shouldn't, when it shouldn't, right? Because here you've been working hard, you got a plan, you got a master plan already, and you ready, you're ready to put it to work, right? And if somebody comes along and says, "Oh man, but how do you know it's going to work?" Oh man, you know what? They tried that last time, it didn't work. Well, maybe it didn't work for them, but who's not to say it's not going to work for you? Now, on that note, it's pretty much like this. I, I keep on pushing y'all with this amazing lifestyle called keto. The keto lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's an amazing lifestyle. So amazing, right? Why? Because it works and it keeps on working. Hey, what's up, Linda? How you been? Yeah, you know what? I, I, I've been so busy. You know, I got everything going on. I got graduation parties going on. I got a crawfish festival. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be Saturday. I'm at Ray's Ice House. I got a big crawfish festival going on. We do it every year. And then after that, I'm shooting over there to um, right here, uh, Katie Vibes. Right here, it's a restaurant. They have a big old Cinco de Mayo going on. I'm just super busy, man. But I definitely want to come on here. I'm glad you're on here because I ain't seen you. So I'm glad you're on here. I know you've been seeing the videos later at a later time, but I'm glad you're on here. So Linda, man, shout out to Linda. Linda's been doing great. Uh, her and her husband, they've been doing great. Hey, and I got some, um, if you want to come by, I got a German chocolate cupcake for you. She don't live too far from me, so she can tell you what, you know, what's going on with that. But if, if you know if your husband wants to come by, let me know. It'll be after, after, sometime after the video or something like that. But um, yeah, so the German chocolate cupcake, it came out amazing. And I made it a while back. And when I made it, it was good, but it still was missing something. So I got it to what it was missing, and it, it's so, so delicious, man. So, so delicious. What's up, Bertha? Shout out to y'all, man. Are they say damn big ball? It must be nice. What, what, must be, what are you talking about, Jay? I'm not sure, man. So, um, anyway, so if it's your first time on my show, please put one. If it's your first time on my show, please put one. So, guys. What's happening sometimes, this is what you're hearing, okay? So you're hearing your Thea or your friend's Thea or your friend or somebody's doing the keto lifestyle, right? And then they tell you something about it. I'm pretty sure they tell you, hey, girl, you know what? I'm doing the keto lifestyle, man. And uh, all you got to do is eat bacon, eat cheese, uh, eat eggs, eat all the meat. You can eat all the meat you can. Man, you know, that's what they're telling you, right? But that's not the truth about the keto lifestyle. You still have to intake a lot of vegetables. You need a lot of vegetables. Why? Because if you don't do it right, you're going to get constipated. You're going to get the keto flu, and you're not going to get what you want out of it, okay? So the keto lifestyle, how does it work? How does it work, okay? Well, I always tell people, remember, 75% of fat needs to be on your plate. So if you're eating three times a day, then you want 75% of fat on your plate, right? That's what you want in your plate. Right. Well, actually, I, I'm thinking of it the way. So 75 percent. So say you're in the morning, you're going to eat the morning. Right. So I don't know how many times people eat. Most of the time people eat three times. I eat one time. OK, so depending on what it is. So me personally, I get 75 percent on one sitting, you know, most of the time, you know, but then I fast. So it's kind of hard to do that. But it's just I'm on a different level now. So because I'm keto adapted and everything. But say you sit down. Right. And your plate 
So you want 75% of your plate. That's what you want. 75% of fat, 20% of protein, 5% of carbs each time you sit down. So if you sit down three times, that's going to be fine. Just make sure that you get that on your plate. Okay. Why do you need to eat fat? Because you need to burn. You need to start using your fat for fuel. That's what you're trying to do. And that's what the keto, when you, when you get in ketosis, that's what it does. And that's what you need to do. So some people tell me, man, do you count your macros? Do you count? I've never once count macros. I didn't. Me personally, I didn't, right? And I didn't have to. Some people, they do, and some people got the app and all that stuff like that. I personally think it's just too much to follow. But you do got to follow what you eat. You do got to know what you eat, right? So say you're getting a, a, piece, a piece of chicken or something like that, and then you're going to get something else. And if you got too much protein, then... You, I mean, you could just look at your plate and know what you got on your plate, right? It's not that difficult. You could just look at your plate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. When, when a person's speaking about, hey, what's up, Rob? Awesome DJ, man. So when a person's talking about, it could be anything, you know? It could, not too long ago, um, what was I talking about not too long ago? Um... I, I'm, it might have been the bakery. I'm, I'm going to run a bakery. That's the sugar is the devil, uh, healthy, low-carb keto treats. I'm running from my kitchen. And I had somebody in my family, and they told me, man, how are you affording this? You know? And, and it's just funny to me because instead of telling me, awesome, congratulations, man, you, you, you know, you're going to do this and stuff like that, that's the first thing that came out their mouth, you know? And, and it was not immediate family, but it was family, you know? So, um that that's just how it is sometimes you know people pe this is what people like doing you got your flame way up here and people like going this like <laughs> until they blow it up until they blow your flame that's what they like doing and you let them bl blow your flame and you don't mean to do it but you let them don't let nobody blow your flame out you know what i'm saying think about it as you're putting more um lighter fluid or something in it you know that's your flame that belongs to you. you shouldn't let no one take that from you you know there's been times where i'm djing and somebody says man dude you're gonna play at that club that club man is it's, it, i heard it's hard to play over there bro only like huge huge djs play it. i'm like uh i'm a huge dj i've been doing it forever but sometimes you get people like that you know and, and they're not so much hating but they are hating you know because they're too used to blowing out your flame. They're too used to thinking negative. They're used to, because they're, they're, maybe they came from growing up that way, being, being negative, being negative. You know, back in the days, old parents used to be like, Nico, I don't think you can do it, you know? And, and it's just the mentality that grew up in, right? So, and then sometimes you just got, they're going to hate. They're going to hate. Like, not too long ago, I had somebody tell me, and this is weird, right? Dude, what's, you dropped all that weight. Are you sick? I said, am I sick? Am I sick? I'm, I'm not sick. I look amazing. I look good. I feel good. I'm putting muscle on me now. And it's just, you can get people like that. You're going to get people like that. People never can congratulate people. They always want to blow your flame out. Just like, look, look at the Rockets, man. They were doing awesome and everything. You got these referees, they went out there, they made it hard for the Rockets. The next day, the Rockets, man, their flame's gone, man, you know, but they're going to be all right when they come out here. And it just takes that much for a person to get in a person's head, you know. You got to be more strong-minded on stuff like that, you know, and just don't let nobody take your flame, man. Your flame's there for a reason, you know. You build that flame. You, it took days or it took months, it took years. It took so much for you to build that flame, you know. You, you, you did all kinds of sacrifices, you did this, did this, and now you got your flame where you want it, and then somebody just comes and try to go and blows it, and you let them do that. So don't let them do that, man. Don't let them do that. Hey, how's everybody doing out there, man? What's up, y'all? What's up? If it's your first time on my show, please put one. If it's your first, we, we still don't got nobody on Instagram. I swear to God, Instagram's always telling me, hey, when you going to come on Instagram? And I'm on Instagram, and not a soul's on Instagram, but you know what? Hey, they'll see it later. That's what they tell me. Shout out to Annette, man. Shout out to Aaron. What's up, bro? Shout out to Nephew. What's up, Nephew? Mondo. What's up, y'all? Hey, Jay, you got me excited, bro. I'm ready for your wedding, bro. So I'm going to do Jay's wedding in, in 2020, man. They're, they're, they're hiring me for years, you know. But, 
Hey, man, I'll be there. It's going to be awesome. Um, how y'all been, man? How y'all been? If I can help you on any kind of what, what, what Mooney got going on? Good evening, everyone. What's up, Moon D? So Raymond, man, Raymond, Raymond's dropped a lot of weight, man. He's looking amazing, man. They can't even recognize him no more, you know? It's just, it's crazy because they don't, not too long ago, I was, uh, I was DJing and somebody came up to me and they go, they kept on looking at me, right? And he tells me, he comes up to me, it's funny because he comes up to me, he tells me, he goes, hey, um, hey, dude, uh, I thought Free was going to be here. And this is the straight, honest truth. And then I said, what? And he said, I thought Free was going to be here. I said, that's me, bro, Freestyles. He goes, man, dude, he goes, I was over there looking at you. And I was telling my homeboy, that looks like Free, but then it can't be Free. I don't think it's Free. So I ain't been over there and I ain't, I ain't DJed for them for like about a year and a half, right? So when you hear things like that, you know, and he started telling me and I started telling him and he said, man, help me out. So he's a police officer, but um, I'm going to help him out, man. I'm going to help him out. But I, I, that's what I try to do. I try to help a lot of people out. So they start assuming that we are moving weight or something, but anyone can do anything you just need. To, this is coming from Linda. Uh, anyone can do anything. You just need to get it and work hard for it. Yes. Hey, the more they tell me I can't do it, the more the pushes me to keep on getting it. Keto is live. Yes, mama. Yes. That's, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, you know, and, and some people, man, if you remember this, I told y'all this about, I don't know how long ago to tell you this, but I told y'all this. I said, some people in the beginning are going to tell y'all, Man, you shouldn't do keto. Keto's not safe. You know, I heard about this about keto, and and um, are you sure you should be doing this? Man, you can do something else better. Oh, we got some people over here on Instagram. What's up, Brown? What's up? So, so we put that on. So, so we got one person over here on Instagram. So shit out, man. Fifty six pounds, Mondi. That's my dog, huh, huh, huh. Man, give Mooney some congratulations, man. It wasn't easy, man, but he's doing it. He's doing it. So I always tell people, they say, is, is it easy? I say, no, it's not easy, but it will get easier. It will get easier. It will. Because then you break all those habits and stuff like that, you know? Yes, yes. What's up, Alice? So should I tell you? So the thing is, man, today we're talking about never let the fire in your heart go out. And like I was saying earlier, I thought about this, right? I thought about this because I, I did a, a logo, not a logo, but I did a deal yet not too long ago. It says um, Crush City has heart, right? So I thought about this. And I said, you know, I need a topic for the show today. So then I come up with never let the fire in your heart go out. And then I said, well, let me see if the quote is stronger. So then I go to my phone. And um, I'll tell you right now. I'll show you. I go to my phone and I put that on there. I tell Siri, I, I put that on there. And then can you believe it? Can you believe this? This is a Bible. This is a verse in a Bible. So that's amazing. Like, I'm like, what? A verse in the Bible. So, and it's right here. Romans uh, 12, 11, 13. Never let the fire in your heart go out. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? And, and that gave me the chills. I'm like, man, that's that's tripped out. You know, that's really tripped out because here I am thinking I thought about it, but then it's in the Bible, man. That's that's amazing right there. What's up, Leslie? How you doing? So Leslie's doing the keto and she and she's doing great and stuff like that. I think she lost eight pounds. So probably as of today, she's probably at nine or ten pounds. Uh, women take a little longer time to lose weight. They do take a little longer time to lose weight, but uh, they lose inches and they will lose inches. What's up, Ty? Huh? Hey, number one, number one painter, man. Number one painter. You got to hit him up. He paints the Astros, people from the Astros, their houses and stuff right there, man. That boy's on it. So make sure you hit him up. Good prices, man. And, and you know, Good work. Really good work. He's done a lot of, you know, he can leave his business card up there and stuff like that. So shout out to him, man. So, um, so how's everybody doing out there, man? How y'all doing, man? I know, I know y'all probably a little bit sad because of the loss we took yesterday, but we're going to bounce back. We're going to be all right. You know, they, for some reason, man, you know, I've been following the Rockets 
for a long, long time. I would say like in the beginning of the 80s, I followed them or probably in the late 70s. You know, I was born 71. So I've been watching them since I was a kid. So probably like in the early 80s or whatever. And um, they've been doing us dirty forever. But now they do it in broad daylight. Like they really do it in broad daylight now. I mean, come on, man. You know, but that's another show, you know. Um, so, yeah, guys, man, I got that. I got that German chocolate that just that I just posted up, man. It was so delicious, moist. It was just delicious, man. And, and all keto, all low carb. And I'm going to I'm going to make it to where if people want the protein from it, then it's going to have the protein in it. But it was awesome. It was really delicious. My wife approved of it. She loved it. Um, and hopefully we'll get Linda to come out here and pick one up and she could taste it. You know, Linda don't live that far. So she lives close by. So she'd be trying some of the stuff out. But hey, guys, how y'all been, man? Has anybody started keto yet? Have y'all started even on Instagram? Have y'all started the amazing lifestyle of keto? If y'all started, if y'all started the amazing lifestyle of keto, give me some hands up. Put some hands up if you started keto. Put some hands up. And while y'all put your hands up, I'm putting my hands up to this right here. Unstoppable Health Win. High Energy Green Tea Blend. And it has amazing ingredients in it. Milk Tissel. Cleans out the liver. Cleans out the liver. It's great for women for their cramps for when they're when they're going through their cycle and stuff like that. It's awesome, you know. Um, hibiscus, mint is it, the vitamin. You get the vitamins from it. Ginseng, you get the energy from it. And people really tell me they're getting energy from it, you know. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, something like that, Ernest. That ain't my cupcake though. That one like got sugar on it. <laughs> What's up, Dad? Hey, man, it's good. It's good to hear from you, bro. I'm glad you're doing great, man. You know, a lot of people, man, in the very beginning, we had um. In the very beginning, you could tell in their voice that they didn't know what direction they were going to go. And now you hear a big difference on people's voices. You know, a lot of people that I've been coaching and helping out and just sharing the words with and just sharing my videos with. You could see their confidence level, man. Their confidence level is way up there. You know, it's it's awesome because I call them. They're like, "What's up? How you doing?" You know, they're happy, man. You can hear it in their voice. They're so happy, and I'm happy to hear that. You know, I'm happy to hear that. You know, because, man, it's just amazing to see people to to go to their full potential. You know, to what when when something was holding them back. You know, well, actually, what was holding them back was themselves. But now they're like going forward. They're getting out their comfortable place, man. That that's awesome. You know, that that's that means I made a difference. You know, I do these videos. I might not be able to help out everybody, but I'll be able to help out him, her, him, his cousin, her, her friend. So I I'm gonna be helping as many people as I can help out. You know. Let me see. Bring it on and craving for sweets. It's stirring. But I won't do it. I've been good without it. You know what? If you go to if you can go tomorrow, I'll take you one. I think we're gonna still have some. I can take you one over there. I, tomorrow I DJ at uh Texas Saloon, man. It gets awesome over there at Humble. Uh I'm over there on th every other Thursday. I'm over there, so I'll be over there tomorrow. But um stay put. This is the deal, okay? So my labels are in, my containers are in. And everything's copyrighted, everything's DBA'd, everything's great, right? But now I got to make the other labels. And my wife is being real strict on how I make these labels because it's really important because I need to make sure the right ingredients and everything's put on there. So if you're getting three carbs off my cupcake, then it needs to be exactly three carbs on, on the label. You need to get exactly. I don't want somebody to get my cupcake and eat it or get one of my desserts and eat it and then or my treat and then say, you know what, man, I gain weight from it, you know, and that ain't going to happen. One one of the reasons why, because they don't got no sugar. The other reason why, because I'm in the kitchen, I'm testing and testing and testing right now. I'm trying to give you all the best, best tasting treat. But if it has too much carbs, it's not going to come from me. Because the main thing is healthy, low-carb keto treats. If I can keep it under five carbs at the most, five carbs, right, then that's going to be okay. But I'm actually trying to aim 
between two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Now, if I get to five, I'm going to let you know because everything's going to be on the label. Everything's going to be on the label. If it's nut-free, some people got allergies. So if it's, if, and if you're doing keto, your allergies will go away. But if, it's not, if you got nut, uh, if you got allergies, then it's going to tell you everything you have on there. And those labels, we already bought, my wife already bought it. We're going to print them here. I got an awesome printer here. And we're going to print them here, but we just got to get to it. You know, for some of y'all know my wife's a teacher, so it's becoming to the end of the, the year. So, um, you know, she's real busy. I'm real busy. We got a lot of things going on. But, um, yeah, we got that. We got that happening, man. Shout out to Abigail. What's up? I ain't heard from Abigail. How you doing, Abigail? How you doing? I hope you're doing great, mama. So, shout out to all of y'all. Um, yeah, man, what is up? What is up? I feel amazing every day. Moondy, do you feel amazing? I know Moondy feels amazing, man. We just, it's just a keto lifestyle, man. It gives you all this energy it gives you all this energy man all this energy and so does this so does this right here unstoppable health win unstoppable health win i had somebody last time doing why'd you name it unstoppable health win well one reason unstoppable if you take it that's the closest you're gonna feel it to unstoppable the other reason health you know if you got good health you're winning Ah, shout out to this core water. They better start uh, sponsoring me because I drink a lot of core water, man. You should too. It's delicious, really delicious, man. Shout out to all of y'all. So we're at 26 minutes, guys. I want y'all to interact with me right now. Interact with me, okay? So if there's anything I can do for you right now, if there's anything I can do for you right now, let me know. Let me know. What? What are you embarrassed of? And you shouldn't be embarrassed because we'll get rid of be that get rid of that embarrassment. Sometimes your embarrassment makes you stronger. You know, the pictures I still got in my living room, I'm huge. I'm huge. I'm unhealthy. I'm huge. They're still in my living room. Why? Because every day I pass through that living room, I say I will never, ever, ever, ever get like that again. And I promise you, I had somebody ask me like, never say never. Well, they say never say never because they don't know the amazing lifestyle of keto. I say never, I mean never. Why? Because God's going to lead me to never, to never that. You know, he knows what's good for me and I'm going to listen to him because if I would have been listening to him years ago, then I would have been even better, you know? So, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine, man. Softball with kids, man, I can only imagine. So, so shout out to all of y'all, man. Um, so guys, what's up? What, give me some questions. What we got over here? What we got going on over here in Instagram? Instagram, you got some questions for me? You got some questions for me? I, I don't know the delay on this right here, but, um, and also I got, I got a lot of people on Instagram and stuff like that, but shout out to all of y'all, man. If I can help you in any kind of way, always give my number out. 832-715-2557. Again, 832-715-2557. 2557. Five, Guys, if you have any questions, ask me right now. I won't be doing another video probably till Saturday. If, if, if I can, if not, I'll be coming back on Sunday. Uh, I try to do a video every other day. That's when I try to do it. People are telling me, man, you should do them every day, but I, I'm, I'm too busy. Herberto, what's up, dad? Roberto, best barbecue, man. He also has a, a barbecue. He sells awesome barbecues, you know, real good guys. So him and his brother, man, they sell really good food. Um, Shout out to all y'all, man. Just to let y'all know, some of y'all, y'all have kids, y'all have grandchildren, some of y'all have brothers, sisters. If they're graduating, you need an awesome DJ, hit me up. If I can't do it, I got awesome DJs that can do it. I actually got some DJs on here that can do it. it the, you know, we stay pretty busy, but we have a lot of graduation parties coming up. Now, I want to give y'all a tip. So some people call me and they tell me, Freestyles, how much you charge to DJ at King Sinera. How much you charge to do a wedding, okay? And right now, I'm gonna tell you right now what I charge. I charge what I'm worth, okay? I charge what I'm worth. Actually, I probably don't charge what I'm worth, but I charge close to what I'm worth, right? Don't expect to call me and tell me, hey, I got a quinceanera, um, and I tell you a price, and then you say, 
Can you do it for 375? Can you do it for 400? Uh, no, I don't leave my, my driveway for that. Why? Because I'm bringing you a hell of a show. I'm bringing you lights. I'm bringing you speakers. I'm bringing you everything. I'm bringing you an awesome DJ. I'm going to mix anything and everything. I'm not your typical DJ. And anyone that used me can tell you that. But that's just a tip that I wanted to give out there in case they're listening and stuff like that. Uh, shout out to Let It Ride Cookers, man. Um, they, they use me every year. Hopefully they use me next year. I, I, I try to explain to them, but you know, it just it, it it is what it is. I I I I'm straight up honest. I don't I don't lie about nothing. And uh, again, my wife she booked something and it was a wedding and that's what I did. But I did have somebody to cover up. Uh, that's something totally different. What's up, Crystal? Shout out to Crystal, man. Um, Crystal Lean, huh? Shout out to Royal Flows, huh? So um, 27 minutes, man. We're 27 minutes into it. Um. So there's so much going on, guys, man. Shout out to y'all. Really appreciate y'all. Uh, if you can see my hat, sugar is the devil, key to his life, because that's what it is. Sugar is the devil and key to his life. I promise you. So um, if I can help you in any kind of way, hit me up, 832-715-2557. We're going to go for a few more minutes. I like to always stop it at 30 minutes. 30 minutes seems like a long time. And people tell me, then go 40 minutes. Go there. You know what? My show is doing really, really well. Uh, please share my videos. Please share my videos. Shout out to Jose. Jose got me, I, I think, close to 9,000 views on one of my videos. So shout out to Jose. Tex-Mex, man. Matter of fact, I'll be there Friday night. Come out there, guys. It's going to be awesome. We're doing a special uh, for Cinco de Mayo weekend. It's, it's got some drinks, some margarita specials. It's going to be really awesome that day. And I'll be in the mix right here on 529. I'll be there Friday night. Come out there. It's going to be going down, man. And then if you can't see me on Friday, Saturday, I'll be at Ray's Ice House, the, the biggest crawfish we do every year. If y'all been there, you know how big we do it. Free crawfish. And then I'm going to, after that, that, that Saturday night, I'm at, um, oh, man, what's called? They changed the name. Uh, Katie Vibes. Katie Vibes. And it's awesome, man. Another awesome place. Excuse me. All right, so we're done. So, hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be blessed. Y'all have an awesome night. Go Rockets for the next game. We're going to get both of those wins over here in Houston, baby. So I appreciate y'all. Let me let me go on and get off on Instagram. Instagram, thank you, Instagram. Appreciate y'all, man. It ain't how many's on here. Just some got on here. Appreciate y'all. Please share my video. Thank you. If you need to reach me, 832-715-2557. Facebook, thank you, man. Muchas gracias. Appreciate all of y'all, man. Thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. To the next video, man, you reach me, 832-715-2557. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keto is Life TV. Keto is Life TV. Also subscribe to me, my family's channel, uh, Family Freestyle. Hey, man, y'all be blessed. Good night. Thank y'all. To the next video. Bye-bye.